Hello everybody, welcome to the Rock and Crystals channel. My name is AJ and today we are going to be talking about seven things that you didn't know about Labradorite. One of the oldest magical crystals known to humans, Labradorite is been, has been revered for hundreds of years, not only for its luminescent and outworldly beauty, but also for its healing properties. Sometimes called Black Moonstone, this stone is one of transformation that lends its power to the purpose of spiritual growth, introspection, divination, and protection from negativity in all its forms. Although quite a famous stone amongst collectors and practitioners, some of the history and legend surrounding Labradorite goes unexplored. Here are seven things that you didn't know about Labradorite. Number one, Labradorite as the heart of Atlantis. In some folklore, it is believed that those who feel most attracted to this stone have their ancestral roots in the lost world of Atlantis. This lends a little extra magic to the fact that Labradorite's Labradorescence is enhanced tenfold when submerged in water. Number two, Labradorite as the stone in the sky. First discovered on St. Paul's Island in Labrador, some Eskimo tribes believe that the rocks uh, along the coastline contain the northern lights within them. Legends tell that one ancestor struck a stone with his spear, setting many of the lights free to enter the sky and become the Aurora Borealis. Some of the lights remained in the stone, and it is believed to be the source of its magic. Number three, Labradorite directly from the cosmos. Although most common in the crust of the earth, it is somewhat scarce amongst the uh, components of meteorites. Yet, large enough traces have been found to account for this type of feldspar mineral. Labradorite has been found even in some meteorites, hinting that its origin may be of a more celestial uh, or a celestial source than of an earthly source. Number four, Labradorite as a Finnish charm. Labradorite exists in three varieties, Rainbow Moonstone, Spectrolite, and, uh, and uh, Andesine, uh, Andesine Labradorite. Labradorite. <laughs> as the most valuable type of Labradorite, Spectrolite is unique to the country of Finland. An old tradition suggests that the stone has been buried in the fields uh, as an offering to the spirits of the land in order to give thanks and to request a prosperous harvest. Spectrolite, by the way, is the shiny part of Labradorite. <laughs> uh, number five, Labradorite as the bridge between earth and the sky. In North Norse rather, mythology, Labradorite is associated with the Bifrost Bridge, the burning rainbow bridge that connects Midgard to the earth rather, sorry, that connects Midgard, <laughs> the Earth, to Asgard, and Asgard, excuse me, Asgard, <laughs> the realm of the gods. Uh, the stone itself is believed to be a gateway between Earth and Heaven. Number six, Labradorite as a, transfor uh, a transfigurative stone. In Hindu belief systems, when the stone, when the, sorry, when the throat chakra is open, any form of negativity is transformed into positivity, being replaced by the wisdom and learning, uh, being replaced rather by wisdom and learning. In these same belief systems, Labradorite is closely associated with this chakra, otherwise known as the purification center, which lends reason to the stone's ability to transform, strengthen, and manifest. Number seven, Labradorite as a powerful shamanic tool. Spiritually, Labradorite is a stone that assists growth of the self through its many properties, mainly through its ability to reveal hidden truths and to help one discover their own inner power. Shamans hold a strong desire to seek and acquire knowledge, and they often leave the present to recall details from a past life. Labradorite can be an especially helpful tool as it provides protection through astral travel while it's also assisting in the discovery of that which you seek. Thanks for watching everybody. Check out our Rockin' Crystals Gemstone Shop. Link in the description below.